I suppose everybody kind of is and knows the old Cockney dialect. Um, and then there's a standard English dialect. And then if you go north, if you move up the, up the island, up into Yorkshire and Lancashire and places like that, then they have a quite different sound. It's a long story in the sense that it begins, uh, at least my connection with Portland State, begins in 1961 when I came here as a student. Ended up uh, doing a graduate program, a master's program at the University of Birmingham in England. I was bumming around Europe hitchhiking and trying to see a bit of the world. It wasn't exactly a grand tour, but it was, you know, it had its moments. And uh, I, got a, I actually got a, 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 a telegram and the then head of the department, a guy named Asher Wilson, offered me a part-time job here. Asher said, well, why don't you teach a course in stage dialects? So I, I started offering a course in, in accents, dialects, stage dialects, and have been doing that ever since. If you move even further north and you go into Scotland, uh, there's uh, some of the Scottish dialects do a lot of trill, where you hear a lot of rrr, a lot of burr, so there's quite a bit of variety there. Uh, and then if you go across the water, across the Irish Sea into Ireland, um, there's quite a lot of variety in the south of Ireland. And then if you move up north, it's quite different. It has a very different sound to it. And they also teach um, uh, dialects that come from Europe. Um, and, and we do a few of them, uh, the French dialect, which is very useful. Uh, and then if you do with the German dialect, so that people have some sense of the Germanic. Um, and then we do uh, Russian, um, kind of a standard Slavic Eastern European dialect, which again can be used for a number of different dialects with a little bit of modifi modification. Foreign language is another perspective on the world. It's another way of thinking about life and the world and human relationships and all of those things. What we're doing with a Bachelor of Arts degree or Science degree is to create a foundation on which one can become, and I know it sounds kind of trite, but I think it's true, uh, a lifetime learner. And it was so long.